This is a meditation that will heal you multidimensionally, that will heal every traumatic event in your lifetime. This one meditation will open the compartments so that you can be integrated and be more whole. The reason this meditation is going to heal multidimensionally is because this was created to be a quantum meditation. This meditation was given to me by the Arcturians and they did it with me first and the power of it was profound. So I'm sharing the meditation with you to heal using your chakras um, because the chakras need to be reprogrammed, okay? Um, and so the only thing you must do is follow along and visualize in your mind whatever I'm saying. If you have a hard time visualizing, this will be very easy for you because I am going to ask you to put in the room with you as many of you as you need to how did you look when you were three you know when you were five maybe you wore two ponytails how did you look when you were eight when something traumatic happened to you you know how did you wear your hair or what was your favorite outfit or what was your favorite color or maybe you can just visualize your face at that age or you remember a picture you took at that age. If you can't visualize any of those things, you can just remember you about the size you were at that age. And just imagine the age is on a shirt on their chest. Okay? That you can see the age. By doing this, you are time traveling. You are going into your consciousness back in time and you are gathering all of the use from the past to observe and to witness and participate in your healing. This is going to motivate you to be able to visualize better than ever before because you have your two-year-old self watching. You have your four-year-old self watching. And so that alone will motivate you to visualize and tap in okay so I feel that this should work on the very first time even if you have always had a hard time visualizing doing meditations so let's begin close your eyes hope that you are somewhere safe quiet either sitting or lying down on your back with your hands, palms facing up in receptive mode, okay? If a different position of your hands speaks to you, use that. Okay. Now, we're going to relax the body before we begin. So let's take a slow, deep breath. You're going to breathe in for four, hold for six, and you're going to slowly blow out for eight. So, in for four. Hold it for six. Breathe for eight. Make sure that you are feeling your abdomen and not your chest when you take your inhale. Inhale again for four. Hold it for six. Exhale for eight. Again, inhale for four. Hold it for six. Blow it out for eight. You should feel the relaxation in your body. 
You can begin telling your body to relax and it will. So speak to your body and tell your body to relax. You can feel your feet relaxing. You can feel your calves relaxing. You can feel your knees and your thighs relaxing. You can feel your butt and your back relaxing. You can feel your stomach and your chest relaxing. You can feel your shoulders and your arms and hands relaxing. You can feel your face and your eyes and your mouth position relaxing. Your mouth is closed with your teeth slightly parted and just relax. Now, chakras are meant to spin as if they are hula hoops, okay, going around our body. And you may have learned that they're more like vortexes that are um, horizontal to the earth, to the ground. But actually, if you're standing up, your chakra should be moving around you like hula hoops, okay? The core of the chakra, of course, is what's within the physical body. And the chakras extend out into your auric field anywhere from 6 to 10 feet. So, we're going to start with the root chakra. Okay. Now, I want you to call yourselves into the room before we begin. If something happened to you as a kid that made you feel unsafe. This probably affected your root chakra. I want you to imagine you at whatever age that you feel safety, stability in any area of life. Just visualize yourself at that age. If you can't see yourself, that's okay. Visualize yourself standing there with a shirt on with the age. Meditation and visualization work with symbology and intention. Everything does not have to be perfect. Now I want you to visualize the next age where there were a lot of changes in your life. And this is, um, you know, maybe an age where a divorce happened. Or maybe an age where um, you moved away, you know. Um. Trauma is different for many people. So just call all of those yous in there. If there was a you that watched mama and daddy fight and daddy never came back again, call that you into this meditation. Because this is going to give that you healing and comfort. Not only to know that you survived the trauma, but that you are healing the trauma. This is the multi-dimensional peace that will be extended throughout your lifetime in this incarnation on earth. Now, any other age, maybe a teenager or preteen, maybe you had a miscarriage at a young age, you would call her or him, maybe you lost the baby, you know, maybe you had a really bad car accident. Um, senior year of school, you want to call that you into the meditation. Um, maybe you lost a job and became homeless, or maybe you found out that a family member was doing, being abusive, maybe towards someone you care about or love, or even maybe your children. That could be the adult you. You want to call the adult you into the meditation as well. I'm going to give you a few more minutes to call in whatever ages you think need to be healed.
okay. Now, it doesn't matter how many years you were able to visualize. If you could only see one, two, three, that's fine. You have a whole room full of different yous. That is fine too. There is no judgment here. Trust your intuition. Trust what you are doing, what you are able to do. There is no wrong or right way. Okay. Now, the root chakra. You're laying down. And you're going to imagine this small circle. This small circle. And it's spinning. And it's sitting at the base of your spine. And as this red root chakra spins, you begin to see the light, the red light is extending outwards. And now you can see the red light spinning all the way around your body like a hula hoop. And as you spin this red light, it expands and it fills your auric field. It expands anywhere from 6 to 10 feet or more. But you continue spinning that red chakra. It doesn't matter which way you're spinning it. Spin it the way that feels right for you. Because this meditation is also to help you connect with your intuition. And actually listen to what your intuition tells you. So you are spinning this chakra. And I want you to say, I am safe, I am stable, I am that I am. You should have a bright candy apple red chakra just spinning all around you like a hula hoop. With the colors expanding outward, 6 to 10 feet. We're going to go to the next chakra. This chakra is the sacral chakra. And it is represented with the color orange. I want you to visualize the most beautiful, brightest orange you can. And sometimes it helps to visualize maybe an orange fruit. And it makes it a little easier. Visualize this orange. And it is a small circle that is right below the navel, okay? And you're spinning this small circle, but as you are spinning it, you're noticing that the bright orange neon light is getting brighter and it's getting bigger. And now it's spinning and you can see it outside of your body and you're watching it grow with each circle that it makes it grows until it expands and the color fills your auric field with this beautiful bright neon highlighter orange the brighter you can visualize this the better okay and oftentimes this is related to our sexuality If there was anything that happened to you regarding your sexuality and it doesn't have to be abuse, it could be coming through religion, which heavily impacted our sexuality. Okay, so you're going to continue spinning this chakra, spin this chakra until it's six to ten feet outside of your body, just like a hula hoop. you to say I am strong I am not weak and I embrace sacred sexuality I am healed so mote it be Now we're going to move up to the solar plexus, which is about two to three inches above your navel, okay? And this is yellow, represented by the color yellow. 
So you're going to imagine the brightest yellow lemon you can think of. This just helps me to see the colors better and faster. It's not so much so seeing the colors, but feeling them, experiencing them. What does it feel and look like when you look at the color yellow? That feeling that it gives you. This is, there is more than one way to visualize. Some of you visualize by seeing things that are familiar or their color. So you're going to start with a small yellow circle. And right now it's just feeling the inside of the body. It's spinning the way a hula hoop would be spinning around your body right now. And this yellow color is getting brighter. It's highlighted yellow. It's just getting brighter and brighter and bigger and bigger. And it is expanding. It is expanding six feet outside of your core. It is expanding. Now, this is the solar plexus, which is also called the second sun. This is the place where willpower comes from and your courage. So you're going to repeat after me. I am courage. I have courage. I live in courage. For I am that I am. So mote it be. Now, we're going to move up to the heart chakra heart chakra would be this beautiful emerald green and you're going to start off with this small green disc spinning within you and as it spins it grows and it's leaving the center of your body and now the light it has expanded and is radiating two to three inches away from your body and with each spin you can allow this color to radiate further out this beautiful highlight of yellow is spinning sometimes we don't have the confidence that we need so let's call forth the confidence that we need. I am confident. I am confident. I do not have to be perfect to be confident. Confidence is a state of mind and a feeling. I am that I am. So mote it be. Now, we're going to move up to the heart chakra. The heart chakra is this beautiful emerald green. And you have this beautiful emerald green spiraling around you like a hula hoop. And this color goes all the way around you, just like a hula hoop. I want you to imagine this color expanding with each time it circles around your body. This color expands. And I want you to speak to the heart. For the heart is the gateway that leads to all things. And you're going to say, Heart. I release all pain from you. I release unforgiveness from you. I release resentment from you. I release disappointment from you. I purge all of those things out of my heart chakra. And 
Now visualize your heart chakra getting brighter and more neon, the highlighter green colors. And it's just expanding and getting brighter and brighter. That means that the affirmation is being taken to reprogram the chakra. And you're going to say, I am a heart-centered being. I live from my heart. So mote it be. Now, we're going to work our way up to the throat chakra. You're going to visualize blue, a beautiful blue. A beautiful rose blue. Or sapphire blue. There are these pretty roses they have that are blue. But if you've never seen those, maybe you can use sapphire as the visualization for the blue color, okay? So we'll use sapphire to help anyone who has trouble visualizing these colors or how these colors make them feel. And this is spinning in whatever direction feels right for you, okay? And you're going to spin this blue chakra until it begins to expand, like, like um, gets bigger and it expands. It's like a hula hoop that is becoming bigger around you with each time it revolves around you it gets a little bigger up to six or ten feet and it feels your auric feel I want you to say I speak my truth I speak my truth I am healed of throat chakra blockages blocking my ability to have healthy communication I call forth light into my throat chakra to activate healthy communication so mote be now we're gonna move to the third eye chakra also called the first eye. This is an indigo color. So whatever seems to be indigo to you, imagine that indigo color. For me, I'm using a blue that almost looks purple as, as my indigo color. And you're gonna imagine a small circle just like a hula hoop going around your forehead okay this is the indigo color chakra spinning and each time it revolves around you it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it feels your auric feel this blue chakra indigo blue chakra is going to open your third eye if your third eye has already been open balance will be brought to your third eye and then you will only see what you absolutely need to see and we're going to speak to this chakra as you are visualizing it spinning like a hula hoop around your head. Those chakra, I will speak my truth. I will stand in my truth. And now, back to the third eye chakra. I will see my truth. And I will stand in my truth. So mote it be. You must understand that these two chakras will work together. So as you are able to speak your truth, the more you will be able to see your truth. And the more you can speak your truth and seeing your truth, it's going to go back and forth and impact each other. So whenever you're 
exercising using the power of these chakras, remember that they all work together. So I went counting back and forth between the throat and the third eye chakra to make that correlation because for a lot of us, our inner child was not allowed to speak. We were taught that children should be seen and not heard and it took away our voices. So I wanted to spend some extra time doing that. Now, we're going to the crown chakra. You're going to visualize this beautiful ultraviolet color. Just as bright, as neon as you can visualize it to be. Okay. And it starts off small, right around the crown, the apex of your head, the top of your head where an actual crown would sit. You see this beautiful, beautiful, ultraviolet, purple and white diamond light spinning and with each revolution it gets bigger and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger allow your crown chakra to spin at whatever speed is comfortable for you now let's speak to our crown chakra which is the chakra that controls um, the messages and light codes and downloads that we receive from the cosmos, okay? Anything that comes from the heavens must come through the crown chakra, okay? So you should have that spinning now in your crown chakra. You should be able to see this ultraviolet light extending right outside your head like a hat, maybe on the head. But spinning like a hula hoop. Okay. I'm going to speak to the crown chakra. Thank you crown chakra. Thank you for being open to receive light codes and downloads. Thank you crown chakra. For receiving activations for my spiritual awakening. I am awakened. I am connected to the cosmos. And I am receiving communication from my spirit guides. So mote it be. Now that you have spun all of your chakras and reprogrammed them, now I want you to look at the faces of those in the room with you all of the different yous witnessing this don't you feel the joy that they feel to know that in this moment where trauma seems to overwhelm me and I can't think about anything else that I get to witness myself master meditation and visualization to heal me that my future self cares so much about me to do this meditation, to call me here, to witness this, to be healed. Just see the joy and the gratitude on your faces. They are proud of you. They are shocked and surprised, but they are thankful. This is a gift that you have given them. Thus, this is a quantum gift you have given to yourself. Now, I want you to seal your aura. You want to keep this wonderful energy that you have called into your auric field. You want to keep that in your auric field. So now that those other um, ages of you have witnessed this and they see that you're okay. They see that you turned out better than okay. You not only survived, but you are practicing spiritual practices to help you to thrive and reach your highest potential. They are proud of you. 
Now we're going to seal your auric field diamond white light diamond white light all around you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet up and around your back back over your head and around your chest you're also going to see one going around you like a hula hoop from your head to your feet and just allow this light to move up and down to seal you to seal all of the energy work that you have done that it is sealed by this diamond white light which looks like a merkaba around you of diamond white light and if you can't visualize that just visualize a circle of diamond white light all around you you to take that in and I want you to say I am healed and I am sealed that there will be nothing that blocks me from moving Min forward from this point so mote it be